Hey everybody, this is uh, Matthew Thomas coming at you again. Uh, this time I'm uh, going to hit you up with my uh, my entry video for Metal Nerd's 200 subscriber giveaway. Uh, Metal Nerd uh, uh, seems like a really cool guy. I just recently subscribed to him, so uh, you know I haven't interacted with him all that much. But uh, uh, from what I can tell from his video, he seems like a really good videos, I should say, because I have checked out several at this point. Uh, he seems like a really cool guy. Um, he, his daughter was there during her the, his um, his video uh, about the giveaway. I highly suggest you go check it out, uh, even if you don't have an interest in any interest in uh, entering his giveaway. Uh, she just she just seems like a super cute kid. She's super excited to be giving away this stuff. Although at one point she kind of must keep some of it herself, but you know she's a kid. She's got some great prizes. Who can blame her? Uh, she just seems she just seems like a energetic, cute little kid, and uh, clearly makes makes him chuckle, so, you know, it's a really sweet video, uh, and I want to say congrats to him on uh, on reaching uh, the 200 uh, benchmark, um, when I was looking at him, he was well over that, he was about 235, give or take, so, you know, that's awesome, uh, hopefully someday I uh, meet, reach a similar, uh, similar kind of number. Uh, so for uh, his giveaway, he actually uh, first off he wanted he had a question for uh, for people to answer, and it was basically like you know what was one of your favorite favorite things to do as a kid. Uh, he mentioned that he was a huge gamer and um, uh, well as a kid, and actually I, I was too. I don't really game I don't game much at all these days. I, I just don't have a whole lot of time with uh, with my little girl. It's just eighteen months, so you know. You can't really leave her alone very often, or, if, or at all, I suppose. <laughs> um, but uh, when I was a kid, I, I loved I loved gaming. Uh, I, I had an NES. Uh, I used to love like all the Mario games. Super Mario Three, such an awesome game. Uh, and uh, there's a there's really uh, little known game. It's called Defenders of the Crown uh, it, uh, that I used to love playing. Uh, it was very similar in some regards to uh, the, the board game Risk, where you had to, but it, uh, it was only like one continent that you had to take over. But every, every time you, you want to take over a property, you had to play various games that were all pretty cool. Like there was one where you, you basically would have to uh, siege a castle, um, and it was it was fun. But the thing about it was, it was a ridiculously hard game. I remember the first like several times I played it, I get I'd like take over like two or three properties and I'd be killed every time. Like it was just super, super hard. And I just became kind of obsessed with I was going to beat this game. And uh, I ended up beating it like five or six times, maybe even more than that, uh, just because I was so obsessed. But it was one of, like, one of those things where I'd literally have to wake up in the mornings to start playing it and like play it like pretty much till dinner. Uh, which it wasn't, very, it wasn't very common for me. When I was a kid, I spent the majority of my time outside. But, uh, or watching movies, I suppose. But, um, yeah, and, like, I, I had two brothers. Neither of them ever were able to beat it, which, you know, made me feel awesome. And they, they were, like, my older brothers. And they, they, they tried, but they just never had the, uh, the gumption to, and the, the uh, passion to sit down and really perfect the game. So anybody who ha has held on to an old NES, if you can find that game, check it out. I think it's super fun. Uh, and the other thing I used to love playing as a kid, uh, my, like, like I said, I had two older brothers, and we used to love playing Monopoly. Uh, just, just loved it. I used to, I used to love whenever, I, you know, whenever I was doing well, I used to always sing, "I'm into money, I'm into money." You know, it was just great, great, great stuff. And the other thing he wanted for, uh, for his, uh, his giveaway is that he wanted people to ask him a question. Um, so, like I said, I'm, I'm a relatively new subscriber. I haven't really, I've checked out several of his videos at this point, but you know, I don't really, ha I don't really know that much about who he is as of yet, just because I haven't been able to see his catalog, really, uh, which I intend to. Uh, but I, I, thought the, I thought an interesting question actually might be, um, what, if you had to pick, what are his uh, five favorite YouTube channels? Uh, they don't have to be about collecting, they can be about anything. I just think it'd be pretty interesting to see what he's into. So, But yeah, I'd like to thank him very much for the opportunity and uh, I encourage anybody else to who feels like entering uh, an awesome giveaway to, to enter. And uh, even if you don't want to, if you're not the giveaway type, just go and check out his videos. He's, he seems like a really cool dude. So thanks very much.